What's up guys, Amage is back with a new episode of Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. We are currently in the quest A Gilded Cage and I just found two traders here that are marked. Decorations trader and an art trader. We might, we might find our own stuff. The Holmes family, a portrait depicting the pain of getting kids to sit still. <laughs> Map of London, Violet's portrait, sketch of a boy. So yeah, I'm afraid this is all our stuff. Enjoy your purchase. Three furniture items acquired. Yes. Right. Um, My goods will brighten up your house. Is that so? Map of London. I have no idea if I need this. This is part of it. Masterpiece is tired of your garden view? <laughs> Visit my shop and refresh it. It's the same person, right? It was even the same voice. And it's the same outfit. Almost. Tired of your garden view? My goods will brighten up your house. Is that so? Much harder to do loop the loops in in than at the playground. David and Goliath. I have no idea what I'm. You always know where to find me. What are the ones? You'll never find such ma my goods will that I need to house. buy back. Enjoy like, your purchase. Do I know that? Garden statue swings and even like enjoy your purchase. All right, the yard redux. Ooh, I managed to retrieve all the items that were once in our front yard. Now that this base has been restored, I wonder if it will bring back some memories. That is very good. Okay, nice. Anyway, now we head to the yacht club, which is right over here. How awesome is that? I cannot wait what is there an entrance door somewhere can you satisfy my curiosity that's a question i can answer yacht club members mentioned that paul missed the race and no one has seen him since the morning he might be in his room in the workshop south of the yacht club all right and let's talk to him Hello? Anyone here? Whirlpool. <laughs> That's locked. Storage. Oh. <laughs> we can become pirates and show them what should be stored in here. A foghorn to navigate and warn others at sea. You should have a warning to cover your ears. It probably does, actually. The whirlpool. Fresh lacquer layer from the Stockpile. Of whirlpool. Pools bread and butter. Where's Paul, though? I mean, there's a fight going on here soon, probably. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing there? <laughs> because of all the stuff in it, this looks like a fighting place. It probably is, actually. Bloodied bandages. Has someone been hurt? Where would a champion hide a key? Good question. Uh, I'll 
Elephant's life. Yacht Club workshop. I noticed a bloodied bandage. Okay, let's pin this evidence instead for now. Often used full of nails. Oh, look at that. Do we have here, huh? So there's more to this. Oh, oh fuck the pain. We can become pirates and show them what should be stored in here. Okay, this was only the fucking paint. Got it. Slightly crooked, recently moved. Ah, look at that. skilled at yachting than he is at hiding keys. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright. Now we're in. Bloodied bandages. To earn big, you have to spend big. You gormless gilly wetfoot, you think you can leech off of my family, steal my money, exploit my daughter, this ends today. Your career is over, I shall give you one final warning. If you refuse to cooperate, you will find yourself in deep water. Mr. Gildan, Gildan wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. <laughs> Old betting slips, Paul always bets on Whirlpool, one victory after another. An interesting place for a message to a champion. An interesting place for a message to a champion. What does it say? Additional earnings to sweeten the victory. Suspicious note. Alright, let's pin that one. Expensive set of tools for woodwork. An amateur wouldn't know how to use these. A box full of darts. Each has a needle and can be loaded with drugs. All right, so he. Shipbuilding, shipwrights' tricks. It was his fault that the elephant got. Agitated and loose in the end, right? Probably. Probably. Too ordinary a room for a champion. There's no incentive to put in any effort. Bloodied bandages. Bloodied bandages. Alright, I think that's it in here. Or not? Alright, I'm back. So this game really likes to crash during investigations. So, let's see. I've pinned this node. There has to be something somewhere. Oh! Tea caddy, not smeared. Undeniably psychotropes. Not for toothache, I think. Undeniably psychotropes. All right. Not for toothache, I think. Oh, there's something. Sails of ah, number two. Sails of hatred. <laughs> I suppose there is something for everyone, including champions. Who knew archaeology could be so exciting? Exciting is certainly a word. We can become pirates and show them what should be stored in here. Undeniably. A typical tea tin. I wonder what he has for biscuits. 
Okay, now evidence was updated. All right. All right. Hands off my possessions before you lose your fingers. Are you illiterate? The rules are written everywhere. Ah, oh, Mr. Perks, the cabin boy himself. Champion, you mean. I was right. You are illiterate. I think a couple of shiners might teach you. One last chance. Who are you? Mm, what do we choose? Let's go with this. I'm Sherlock Holmes, a friend of our mutual acquaintance, Miss Imogen. Look, you artichoke. Imogen has no friends. Except for me. If you must try to insult people, it's better to know the meanings of the words that you're using. You fancy you could teach a sailor to swear? Go ahead. Show me how inventive you are. Stand still for a moment. The fuck? Smooth Adam's apple, female. Bandaged arm, payback or accident. <coughs> Swollen elbow, hit something hard. White hips and thighs, developed female body. <clears throat> professional yachtswoman, professional smuggler. Woman who disguises herself as a man to achieve a higher social position. She uses the privileges of man to pursue her personal goals. She puts all of her effort into sport, even though it comes with the occasional accident on the open sea. Bruce and, bruises and an injured arm are badges of honor in this dangerous sport. She is a fearless yachtswoman and will not give it up, even when it costs her. And yet, that is a man's paragraph. Prerogative. No idea what this word means. I see no reason to disclose to anyone otherwise. Uh, so if I mentioned blah blah blah. Uses her Korean yachting as cover to smuggle goods for various gangs on Cardona. Her injured arm reflects the dangerous nature of her life. Despite her fearless exterior, she's frequently in trouble due to her connections with the criminal underworld. You know what? This is a room screaming to fight. I bet there will be goons here in a second so I'm I go with smuggler so a woman wishes to become a real criminal and smuggling is a stepping stone towards that is there not enough prestige in yachting or is it easier to compete with other fools like yourself everyone has a starting pistol just shoot and run don't say a word. I don't know where you're getting half of this nonsense, but you're on some thin ice here that I'm willing to crack. Damn you, Paul. I'm sick of... Who's this peacock? Does he know who I am? I definitely know who you are not. You're not a dictionary reader, at least. I wanted to see how you... pals interact with each other in your natural habitat. But I'm afraid I have to interfere. Looks like it. Let's interfere. <coughs> Don't cry, you'll live. And there's no reward for risking our lives. Paul's explanation will suffice. Where is he? Your fellow mariners have a strange way of showing hospitality. They were not my friends. Are you sure? I would rather risk my neck for someone who's at least honest and thankful. Perhaps then don't enter someone's life and be so judgmental, pretending you're better than they are. Then give me your perspective and allow me to see through your eyes. What were you doing this morning, Miss Perks? Don't call me that. I'm a champion. I was sailing. The other club members told me that you missed the race this morning. Do champions not need to practice? Ugh, oh, you've talked with them already. No, I wasn't racing. I visited the doctor after that attack on me. And then I had to honor the deal with the bandits you just took care of. 
I tried to tell you before, but your partners interrupted. Have you heard the news? Theodore Gilden is dead. Do you have anything to say? Well, what a shock. To me, he was an angry old ogre. Good riddance. Was it Goliath that killed him? Did it crush him? Break his bones? Come on, tell me. I want all the details. You have an unusual way of showing grief. Imogen wouldn't appreciate that. But yes, the animal could have been involved. It's poetic in a way, isn't it? It takes a beast to kill a monster. I wish I could have been that elephant. This business of yours, you should be more careful. Ruining your life at such a young age is ridiculous. I am careful. Except for you, no one has noticed where I store the smuggled goods. If the police arrive, there's no link to me. It's common storage, not exclusively mine. Right. I don't know what you're suggesting. You smuggle illicit psychotropes on your yacht. Not a delivery for the hospital, I'm sure. Of course not. I've had to cut corners to earn some money. How might a person afford to pay for a yacht in an honest way? I don't know, although I'm smart. The buyers are my customers. Adults who are willing to pay for their pleasure, or weapons for jewels. Whatever they want me to deliver. Nothing criminal. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm not here because of smuggling. Have you tasted this tea yourself? I wouldn't have been a champion if I had used it. It's just a side business that keeps my career afloat. It's quite expensive to compete in yachting. Sometimes I cut corners. Such as fixing Whirlpool yourself? Exactly. And sometimes I just have to pay. That's how I earn money. I don't sell slaves or take the last mangir from a poor family. Still. Between yachts, darts, and notes from bandits, I've discovered many fascinating facts about you. But this, an installment of Nabe and Laura's adventures, why did you sully your library with this? It's a gift from Imogen. I didn't buy it. I might have turned a couple of pages, but nothing more. I swear. I will give you the benefit of the doubt, but your literary taste has put you on my blacklist. I'm clueless. Look what I found. A box full of darts. Hey, that's mine. I confiscated it. These darts appear to be filled with something. Poison? How powerful is it? It's strychnine. Enough to instantly kill a small rodent. I haven't tried it on a human. Yet. I hope you know what you're doing. Could it immobilize a larger animal? Say, an elephant? I've never tried. But I have wondered. It seems as though Theodore Gilden hung a sword of Damocles over your life and career. Were these only words or something more serious? Pfft. Check my forearm. Pulled muscles and bruises. Small cuts. Nothing that you could call serious. I doubt that a man in his late fifties could wrestle you. It wasn't him. He behaved like a rat and hired brutes. His boys tried to lock my hands behind my back, but I was faster, and I escaped. Was he so protective of his daughter, or was it your feminine secret that provoked him? My guess is that he was protecting his property. As he saw it, he owned Imogen, and he treated her like a piece of furniture. He didn't want his daughter to be loved by anyone. What's more painful is that Theodore didn't allow me to love his daughter. Typical. I'm not sure that your relationship with Imogen could be described as typical. Are you afraid of a woman in trousers? Now that's typical of men. A charming picture. I've heard that champions do often pose with their trophies. Cheeky. It is a lovely trophy, though. I'm sure you will agree. What is it that you like most about her? Her naivety? Her father's money? A somewhat difficult choice. Especially now that her father is out of the equation. Oh boy. Does this knife seem familiar? I didn't find it in your competitor's back, to be clear. This knife is as blunt as your humor. It's a boson's knife, but it's not mine. I wouldn't be so careless as to mislay my tools. What can you tell me about the elephant? He's smarter than some people here, including his owner. Although I feel he could be dangerous, no matter how much he's fed. Why is that? 
Have you ever seen Goliath attack anyone? Well, not exactly. But I saw it, uh, abusing some poor tree during one of its walks with Theodore. The expression on that old ninny's face was priceless. But it wasn't funny to look at. Believe me, it was frightening. I'm clueless. Imogen doesn't strike me as an industrious young lady, so I find it strange that she was busy packing up all her belongings when Mr. Gildon died. That's some um, favorable wind in your sails, isn't it? Is it so suspicious that a couple might embark on a trip? I wanted to thank her, so we planned to go traveling. A Theodore-free place, without elephants. The timing of it is suspicious, however. Your lady friend becomes an orphan and heir, and there's a planned trip directly afterwards. An improvised romantic dinner will never please a spoiled girl. A planned voyage might. It's not spur of the moment. A. Swift. Are you familiar with this name? The gentleman had business with Mr. Gildon. Likely just another strange and wrinkled fellow like old Gildon was. Perhaps this Swift person has a rhino, and they wanted to see which pet was stronger. In other words, I don't know who he is. And I bet he's crazy like Theodore. I doubt that Cortona has ever boasted a battle arena for that size of mammal. You have an interesting imagination. Just be quick. Just be quick. That was it? Okay. So. Uh, newspaper archive. We should go to the newspaper archive. Yes, that's the next step, I guess. What does the mind palace do? Ooh. Okay. Theodore attempted to destroy Paul. Theodore Gilden was highly motivated to destroy Paul's career well being, even going so far as to hire criminals. <coughs> Unknown third party, there was a witness to the chaos. They dropped their knife and may have injuries from the fall. Goliath may have killed Theodore. Paul may have fallen on the shed. Paul's elbow injury may have been sustained by falling on Theodore Gilden's shed. Alright. Good, where's this newspaper archive again? Alright, so... Um... <clears throat> business partner, so I chose businesses, working together in the old city. What else could help? We want probably a legal document, right? Yes! Registration of Gilden and Swift Limited. Notice of registration. By authority of the government of Cardona, blub blub blub, Theodore Gilden is the sole proprietor, founder of the above enterprise, blub blub blub, Arthur Swift, founding partner. The primary purpose of the enterprise is to perform archaeological research at the ruins located at the intersection. So, blah, 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 blah. okay. Anyway. With your love for archives, you would have made the perfect bureaucrat. <laughs> Probably. Okay, what else? We want this. Um, and he said newspaper archive as well, right? And there was newspaper archive. I'm not sure. Right, there's another 
archive field marked on the map with a newspaper. What a coincidence. Let's see if we can find this in here. Stop the presses. Who is Cordona's handsome stranger? Or knows Baggerspun's local life? Wait, uh, no. Foppish foreigner hides dark past. I, uh, um... Oh, you've made quite the impression already, Mr. Holmes. You care to tell your side of the story? I'm quite certain I have no idea as to what you refer, and I am further certain I have no interest in indulging your gossip. Gossip? The truth will come out, but will only be heard if told well. Scandal, daring do, romance... These are the tools of every good journalist. Nothing travels faster or lasts longer than a great story. Young man, your tale will be told with or without you. My readers demand it. You already knew my name and seem aware of my doings here in Cordona. I presume this newspaper is your little endeavor? Yasmin Sertel, editor-in-chief of the Cordona Chronicle. Advocate of the free press, voice of the people, scourge of the silk stocking. Charmed, I'm sure. As an advocate of the free press, I trust you'll permit me to consult your archives? There are gaps in my knowledge of Cordona. Oh, so my work does have merit. Well, I think we can strike a bargain. I shall provide you access, and you let me keep writing about your exploits. So be it. Brooding bachelor builds bridges. Now that's character development. I guess I owe you my gratitude. What can I say? I've always enjoyed working with the Holmes. They whisper such interesting things. Why are journalists like that? Seriously. All right. Recent, current year, during the past 10 years. Okay. Journalist wrote this, right? No. Yeah, science journalist. Front page story. The Lord of All Beasts, written by Dr. Ian Menzies. Only a lucky few cl can claim to have beheld this planet's strangest and most wonderful fellow, the elephant, said to be land's largest animal. This colossal yet friendly creature enchants all with its size, intelligence, and communication. Elephants are mammals just like humans and originate in Asia. Dup, 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 dup. Um, and in concert with its prehensile trunk can perform feats of remarkable dexterity from strong emotional bonds with their loved ones. Some scientists have even reported witnessing signs of grief or happiness. Perhaps the question is not how much elephants resemble us, but how much we resemble them. That's the article. Feeling old already. Good. That's the next challenge done. There she is. Provide evidence. I'm afraid I can't add anything useful. Really? I have nothing to say about this. Have you seen what your father sent to Paul? This is despicable. My father was never a gentleman, but this crosses the line. I knew that father wasn't fond of Paul, but this... This is just awful. If only he could have seen how good Paul he is to me. Are you aware that Paul is a woman? I have nothing to say about this. Are you aware that Paul smuggles drugs for a dangerous gang? Mr. Holmes, I've already told you. I call him a pirate in play. He's not an actual pirate. He's a champion and a brave gentleman, not a thug. Let us agree to disagree on that. But don't be surprised if one of his clients knocks on your door. It's chilling to think the monster is free. All right, so this symbol means we need to find this on the map, right? But... How? Oh! No, there's only a date. I thought I have the address. There it is! Bazaar Road and Arnott Street. <clears throat> <coughs> 
An old city. Bazaar Road. Okay, oh, this goes all the way over here. And Arnold Street. Okay, it's here. Beyond the fortification walls and old city Cordona. All right, let's head there right away. I remember the monument, Cordona's legendary pirate, the Robin Hood of the place. Do you recall it, John? I do. I wonder if. What is that? The hand me down. New case. Karim of the Silver Hand, the pirate with a golden heart. I told you I remembered him. Hey Sherlock, I'm up here. <laughs> Guess what I've found? A riddle, and it's about a treasure. Listen to this. What? John, you've surpassed yourself. On the top of the monument was carved the first in a chain of riddles which, as John suggests, lead to the Silver Hand's lost treasure. Nice, okay, so at one point we will do all of those Cordona stories, which I guess this belongs to, yeah. Okay, but for now... Come on, Sherry. This is just like the old days. Sherlock and John on a pirate's treasure adventure. <laughs> for now, I really just want to continue with the main story. From day to night, Aiden mm. stands there, recruiting non-rebellious workers for the dig. Rebellious... Alright. I've heard that in order to enter the dig site, I need to be employed. A man named Aiden recruits new workers in the old city marketplace in the west end of the district. He has a scar <coughs> on his neck and only looks for working types with a pro-British attitude. Alright, then we need to head to the marketplace. Okay, I need to change clothes. West end of the district. Oh, over here, Old City Market. All right. Let's stop by a clothing trader. I guess I go with this one. A good choice. A good choice indeed. Because applying for a worker's job, so let's see. Let's see. Where's this dude? Is that him? Does he have an X girl? Sir, kind sir, huh. might I steal your attention? I'm not buying. Ah, that is the thing. You won't waste a single mangir. I am a digger, you see, and I have heard of a dig site so deep it clogs your ears. I want to be there. Why are you telling me this? I have heard of a man recruiting for such a dig. A man with a scar, such as uh, the one that you're hiding. And your boots are dirty with the deep clay I am so familiar with. Oh, I, I hope it wasn't too rude of me to point that out. You have a good eye. And you just want to dig? Dig deep and that's it? What's the catch? Are you in desperate need of money? Oh, there is no catch, sir. I won't even ask for advance pay. Just give me a shovel and I'll dig a hole like you've never seen. Huh. Is that so? Well, I have to ask you an important question first. Would you be fine working for Brits? Of course. I He's pro-British. We heard them. that. Well, you say that. But can you prove it? I love tea. I'll sing the anthem. My British breakfast. Ooh, Tiwa. Well, if we really want to prove it, we'll sing the anthem, right? I'll sing you a very special song. God save our gracious queen. Cut it! Or people here will make you their... I can also speak in limericks. Please don't. You might be a little bit weak in the head, but a natural born digger with a keen eye is what we need. Take this permission slip and go to this address. The guard will let you in. And check with the professor once you're there. 
All right. Nice, now we can head back up here and go to the dig site. Good, but I would actually say we will leave this for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it in the next one we will... <laughs> what is John doing over there? <laughs> in the next episode we will head over to the dig site and hopefully... Oh god, is this bad right here? Look at this flat image of this. God damn it guys, a little bit more effort wouldn't have been too bad. So yeah, I really hope that we will be able to finish this um, case in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did hit the like button, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. And then I will see you in the next video. See ya.